Hello, I hope you're okay. I thought I would film a vlog today because I've got to go to Home Bargains and I thought, well, while I'm there, I can do a little bit of filming and I want to go to a couple of charity shops as well. So I thought I would do another shopping vlog. I hope you're okay. Sending love to everyone. Today is Tuesday, the 22nd of September and it is 10 to 10, so 9.50. So I just thought I'd start the vlog off here. I've got Rufus having a snooze as usual. He's just sitting down here and I've just had a coffee in my um, bee mug of the day. Mug of the day! So I'll just finish that. So yeah, I'm going to head out now. I'm pretty much all ready. It's really lovely again today. It's going to be around 22 degrees in um, Great Yarmouth in Norfolk in the UK. So it's a lovely, it's a lovely day and apparently it's going to be rainy from tomorrow. So I thought I'd make the most of it, do a vlog today and get out while the weather is nice. So I'm just going to grab all my stuff and then head over to Home Bargains. I just need to get my mask on and go in. And this bit is going to be a voiceover because I put the video on before, but YouTube didn't like Home Bargains music. So, yeah, we're just going to have a little look around and this bit will be me just talking. And I like the look of this toffee apple gin liqueur. These were a really good price, 89p. So I've got a couple of those. And they also had some very nice shampoo and conditioners. And, oh, that looks nice. Hair food, banana. Some reusable face masks, three for three pounds. And what's that? Oh, some socks, totes, toasties and some gin. I love gin. And now having a look at the false eyelashes. They had a huge range, actually. Loads of different ones. And the pre-glued ones that I use are here as well. They're only 2 49 Those ones there. I like those. And there was also a big selection of eyelashes just here and they were 2 99 so they might be quite good as well. And then moving on to the lip products and some lip seal, that looks quite good, and some hand wash, antibacterial hand wash. And there's a huge selection of Halloween costumes and lots of Halloween goodies and sweets and things you can put on your head and, and all sorts of Halloween things. And then some lovely new Wick & Co candles, the Boo Candle, Boo Betty and the other one they have the orange halloween one some more hand wash as well and i think these are kind of like christmas items and christmas gifts and then over here we have the candles there's some new ones this look lovely sugared fig and blackberry and that looks very nice i did get a new candle but i didn't get one of those and then over here there's more home things and tablecloths and dish cloths and then down here, there's all kinds of different things. We've got a nice Prosecco bag. If you want to take your Prosecco for a walk, you could put it in there and it would have a lovely time. And then there's all kinds of things here. There's a cheese grater. I think there's chopping boards, some nice pans and some reusable drinking straws. They looked good. Some lovely mugs. I really like that mug. I didn't get it though, but I thought it was very nice. It'll be kind mug. And this bowl was a bargain, if you can see it there. The RRP is £15 and it's down to £1.49, which is obviously a very good price if you need that bowl. They also had lots of lovely mugs. These are like a stack of four mugs and um, some nice bright coloured ones as well. I love these lunch boxes. They had three different ones. Hungry for adventure, may contain snacks and stay wild. Little sayings on them and they're insulated as well. So I like them very much. And some bamboo lunch boxes, some travel cups and drink bottles as well. These cushions are lovely, all different bright colours, and the ones at the top, which I'm about to show you, were really big, some nice large cushions, and some neon letter sign things, and a DIY wall clock, and a really nice side table down here that was only 9 99 so I like the look of that. I think it's got like a tray on top. Some laundry basket things, some pop-up ones, they were 3 99 Here's another one as well, with a different pattern and then some loo roll no what they call toilet seats not loo roll and this was lovely this section here full of like unicorn um things and pencil cases or makeup bags and pencils and just some really nice little gifts little things um on here with unicorn things hairbands and bags and it was a cat bag very nice and some really nice bedding this is seersucker bedding and it was 14.99 i don't know what seersucker is but i've seen it everywhere and all some nice bright colours as well. They, this look really cosy, actually, this bedding. So I liked the look of that. And then I think I'm going to just turn around here and have a look at the food. And I think this is where the home bargains 
shop finishes. So I hope you enjoyed the look around. Sorry, it's a bit of a voiceover though. They didn't like the music. I've just got to Great Yarmouth. The weather is gorgeous. It's so warm. I'm going to go to a couple of charity shops in the high street. Now, I haven't been up here or around these charity shops since before lockdown. So it'd be quite nice. Hopefully they'll all be open because I haven't been this way. Um, so yeah, I'll go and have a little look around and I'll film as and where I can. The geraniums are looking lovely. I'm impressed that I know the name of geraniums now. You all look very lovely. Ah, oh, right, okay. Historic Great Yarmouth. I'm gonna head up here, past the town hall and up this road. And it's lovely and warm. It's not cold at all, actually, which is great. There's a Sea Rider up here. And I'm back with another voiceover. I hope this is okay. I hope it's not like, you know, making anyone feel a bit strange. <laughs> there was quite loud music in the charity shop. So yeah, I'm doing another voiceover. I like that teapot. I like both of those, but I didn't, didn't need them. So I left them there. So we're just looking around Sue Ryder. They had some really lovely things actually. So I was very impressed. I didn't get that mug, but I quite liked it. And there's some salt and pepper pots. Some nice little bits along here and loads of dresses i found quite a few actually which you'll see in a second this was a reese dress and it was only three pounds so three pounds and under charity shop and that was a size 12 i really like the detail the color of it as well and um yeah it was only three pounds so that came home with me so you'll see that in um, a charity shop haul very soon had a look on the pound rail but i didn't find anything and just some more bric-a-brac bits over here to look at lots of chicken things and i managed to find quite a lot in sue rider in yarmouth it was really good so i found some great things which i'll show you soon in a charity shop haul i've just come outside and there is a rail and everything's a pound so i'm just gonna have a quick look here and there's loads actually inside for a pound but i didn't manage to find anything but i will have a look here because you never know and i'm all finished shopping i'm gonna head home so i've got a couple of things to do at home and i got that reese dress so hopefully it will fit fingers crossed it's such a bargain for three quid i didn't find anything on the pound rails unfortunately but um yeah even outside i didn't manage to find anything but there's definitely some bargains around it was really well uh last time i went into that charity shop i didn't find anything the last couple of times but there seemed to be it seemed to be full of tre of treasure which was brilliant and then i went to another charity shop east coast hospice and it was very quiet in there so i didn't film but i'll just show you what i got i only got two things including these margarita glasses and i can make frozen margaritas somehow it can't be that hard or maybe just margaritas and these are plastic so i thought oh that i thought they were um glass and i picked them up trying to be really careful and i was like hang on a minute they're actually um plastic glasses which is great because they can obviously never smash well they can't it will be hard to smash them um these are bodum or bottom which is a really good make and it just says for durable margarita glasses and these cost me three pounds someone got them from tk maxx for 7.99 just seen on here the recommended retail price is 29 pounds so getting them for three pounds is a really good bargain so i'm gonna have to make myself some margaritas at some point i thought i'd get them and add them to our little bar at home louise if you're watching look away because this is a present for you for your birthday um, so that's my friend Louise who is now a YouTuber as well. I'll link her channel in the description. She does all kinds of videos and you'll just, you know, if you enjoy my videos, you're going to love Louise. And um, this is for Louise. So if you watch her videos, you'll know, you'll know what this is all about. Picture this. So this was only a pound and this is going to be one of her birthday presents. Her birthday's coming up, so I shall give that to her. So that is for Louise, a little silly thing. And then I need you to spend another 50p to make it five pounds for the card machine so I got this little mug I saw it and thought well that's quite sweet and then I put it back and I thought well, I don't really need it because I'm trying to be really choosy with my mugs and then I, ne I needed to make it to up to five pounds to pay so I ended up getting it it's really cute though it's like knitted a knitted mug that's cute isn't it I think it's Sainsbury's originally and it was only 50p so I just got that to make up the money and spent five pounds. So I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it, having a look around the charity shops. Well, actually one charity shop and also home bargains. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you give it a like. And I'll try and do a few more of these videos as and when I can, depending on what's, you know, how the situation is and stuff. And sometimes it just doesn't feel right vlogging in public. Um, for me anyway, I'm sure for other people it's fine, but it's just, I don't know when I really feel like it I will and then I'll just be really careful not to film anyone else because uh, 
you know, just a, a funny old time. But I hope you enjoyed this video and I do videos every Wednesday and Friday at two o'clock. So if you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. And if you've been around for a while, hello and welcome as well. Welcome back. So make sure you subscribe if you haven't, give the video a like and let's see if we can get this video to I'm gonna, I should have said this at the beginning really because I think more people watch at the beginning than the end but let's try and get it to 800 likes that would be great if I could I'd love a thousand but I'll settle for 800 I'll settle for like 750 no I won't I won't let it settle for 750 let's go for a thousand so thanks so much come over to Instagram as well I'm Kate McCabe my house account is Kate's Homely Home they'll be linked in the description box with some other videos that I have filmed lately so have a lovely rest of your week have a great day and I will speak to you on Friday at two o'clock bye